I'm going to talk a little bit about the rubber first. Um, the way the rubber is uh, on here it is not lubricated in any way, shape, or form, and you really do want some lubrication on it. Uh, but before you even do that, you really want to you really want to stretch it out uh, a bit uh, in order just to get it. Uh, Rubber that's wound very tightly, that has not been stretched, uh, tends to break and does not last very long. So you want to be careful. Uh, in order to get the best, what we call energy return, uh, you need to do some stretching of the motor ahead of time. Um, easiest thing to do is to take this and stretch it out about nine, eight to nine times length. Um, I'm not going to do that uh, here because my arms are eight to nine feet long, but uh, I can double it. So 12 feet, I can go like this, and I'll hold it like here for yeah, a minute or two. And that's uh, a way to get the rubber stretched. Uh, I recommend that you do this on all of them. Uh, it would be seven, eight, nine times uh, length. And you do this for a couple of minutes uh, in each case that will help break in your rubber motor before you even do anything with it and it's always highly recommended